This is one of the weird bugs that I've encountered. Look at all those legs. I think this might be a millipede, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. This is macro video, which is very difficult to do. To give you a sense on just how close I can get, well, let's get closer. Much, much closer. Starting to see detail? That's a good sign. Because I'm getting close. In case you're wondering, this ruler here gives a sense on the scale. Each one of those lines is one millimeter. That's how close I am. For the part in focus, that is. Look at the detail on this thing. But let's get closer yet. Oh yeah, even closer. Now look how much a millimeter is. That's one millimeter in sharp focus. And here it is on this. Look how big that is now. Look at all these details. You can start seeing why macro videography is very difficult to do. Look at those legs. That's, I believe, the head right there in the center of the view. Well, you want to get closer? This is the close-est I can get. Close-est I can get. Remember, that's one millimeter. And here is my test subject at that resolution. Such detail. Want to go explore the legs? It's like a whole new terrain here. Yeah, it's moving because it's alive. Although, kind of just barely. I encountered it like this. And I figure, well, might as well get some macro photos. And some macro video, I guess, while I was at it. Let's see, I believe that's the head right there. wonder what those pinchers, I think those are pinchers, but notice the hairs on them. I cannot see those hairs with my eyes. I literally cannot see those hairs with my eyes. This is how insanely close I am to this weird worm-like thing, a millipede. You can see how difficult macro videography really is when you're dealing with this kind of stuff. I'm using an external light source, my own introduced light. But man, this is awesome, looking at all these details. Hey, I think I see bug eyes. Of course, the leg kind of got in the way. See the bug eye? I think I see that right there. Let's venture back out again. You have to remember, that's one millimeter for what's in focus. To give you a sense of scale, that is one millimeter. I'm going to zoom out quite a bit. Very difficult to fine tune it because I have such shallow depth of field, typical of macro. This is at f11, by the way. You can see one millimeter, and you can definitely see the thing with the six legs. Er, that's not six legs. That's got to be like a few hundred legs. I wonder how many there really are on this weird thing. Let's get even farther back again to give you a sense of what one millimeter is like for the scale yeah this is handheld it's very difficult to keep steady with handheld so I'm gonna have to put this on my 
mounting tricks that I tend to use. Just put it on something and still kind of stabilize it with my hand. Ooh, it's moving. It's moving again. Ah, there's a little head. Okay, so it stopped moving. At least briefly. Let's get a little further out. Again, one millimeter for those lines. You can start seeing my blanket fibers here. bit further out past the threshold of macro so it's no longer officially macro at least the depth of field is improving modestly and if I really want to get crazy No longer need the angler. Hmm. It's doing something again. I want to get back up close to it. Yeah, this I have to do my handheld. it's doing. I'm going to max the DPI again. Okay, lost it. There we go. Hey, you're kind of in the way. Rotated it a little bit. And the usual sense of what one millimeter is. Yep, barely six millimeters across the entire view. Yeah, blanket fibers creepy in a way when you think about it. It's moving. A good shot of the head. You can see how this is difficult to do because it requires such fine adjustments. You have to remember, six millimeters is that entire span. Well, about six and a half, roughly. That's how finely precise I need to be. Some weird texture detail on the head there. I wonder what that is. See that kind of a whitish part there? Hmm. Seems like it quit moving. Like it was. And of course there's this yellowish part here in the near top of its head. Yeah, this is as close as I can really get. Such a weird object. It's 
really weird when you go into the macro world. What kind of beetle or thing is this anyway? I'm going to zoom out a bit. Okay. Interesting. <sighs> Sensitive lens likes to readjust. Simply dragging it forward like this ends up messing it up. Hmm, okay, I'll get a side view then. I adjust the focus by adjusting the focal length. Yeah, it's a zoom lens that I'm using. But what kind of beetle is this? Or insect, if you want to call it an insect. But what kind is this? I actually do not know what it is. It's unbelievable how much your hands can really shake. <laughs> 